How's it going guys and welcome to something a little bit different uploading on the channel today. Today we're going to be doing a Pokemon TCG online video. Now, I haven't done one of these in the past, um, so it is very new. Um, and uh, this is mainly just because I didn't have anything to upload for you guys today. Um, with Hoenn being offline at the moment, we can't actually do an episode which we was planning to do today. So... I've got this video for you guys. Hopefully you enjoy it nevertheless. And if you want to see more of these in the future, I'm more than welcome to do them. So let me know down in the comment section below. Anyways, let's jump into this. And I'm just going to move this over here and do that. There we go. Cool. We've got some freebies. So what I'm going to do is we'll probably do uh, two or three matches and then I'll open some TCG packs online. Um, that's probably what we're going to do. So uh, let's do a quick match. And we do have, oh, it's, this isn't what I meant to click on. Okay, that, that's my bad. Let's just surrender. I totally forgot, it's not quick match, it's actually the other thing. So, let me go back. Let's go to versus, that's the one we want to go to. My apologies, I have played on this for quite a while. Okay, so there's a new ladder, so... We haven't really got many um, sets. I'm probably going to go with the Fates Collide Sky Guardian set. That's just what we're going to go with today. Um, let's have a see. So we've got somebody who's using the Psychic Normal deck. It's kind of cool. Uh, let's go with Heads. Tails never fails. I should have gone for Tails. So he's going to pick... Probably going to go first. Oh, I'm going to go first. Okay, that's fine with me. So this is the one with the Lugias and it's also got the uh, Delphox in it, which is a really, really powerful um, combination if you can pull it off with it. Um, let's have a see. What should we start with? I don't really want to start with... Let's start with... Let's start with uh, our Wim... Uh, Wisma? Wisma. I want to cut a Whimsicott then. Wisma. Whimsicott is in this set. That is why. So he's going to put down his bench. I'm going to put down mine. There we go. So, something a little bit different. I know, I do apologise. It's not something I'm used to doing something different for. Um, I am going to slap uh, an energy onto you. Let's use Tierno. Get three more cards. Three more energy cards. Not too bad, not too bad. Um, and let's just end my turn there for the time being. Hopefully, it's not one of these where they try and stall you out so much. I am hope he's not one of those players. He's got a Tierno of his own. He's going to play it. Nicey nice. There we go. He's got he's one of his own. He can actually attack since he goes second. Second always goes... Well, can always attack on their turn. So, he's going to Great Ball. What's he going to Great Ball into, though? What's he going to Great Ball into? There's the effects if you do want to quickly have a check. So he's got a great ball. For something in his deck, what's he going to get? Probably. What's he going to go for? Well, it'll show us anyway, but. What's he going to pull out? Is he going to pull out a trainer? Oh, the fur through. Not a fan of that card. <laughs> Not going to lie. Not a fan. So he's going to put that onto his bench as well. And now he's going to do his dual cut. So he did 10 there. So it's 10 plus, what's that? Let me just check on the effects. 10 times the number of heads. So we got one, so we did one. Uh, we've got a lot of energies in our hand. Let's go out into you. Let's evolve. Um, I'm going to chuck another one on. Um, I don't really want to ultra ball just yet. So let's just go and use this smash kick. Only does 10, unfortunately, but that does 40 plus. So I'm guaranteed a 40. So put another one on next turn. I should be able to knock out this blue bat. And that is a dud. He doesn't get any damage off me, which is really, really good. And there's all these energy cards just flooding me. Let's use a fire energy. Uh, let's just go with stomp. It doesn't really matter whether we get it or not because it is enough to take out that one. So we do get a prize card. 
If you are very new and you've never done online TCG or any TCG form of battling before, this might be a little bit different, something you're not used to. But if you do follow it, then please don't hurt me. I know I'm not very good at the game. <laughs> I'm still learning the online TCG myself, so. Oh, is he gonna get, oh, he's got only got 10. Just another 10 damage. Any, damage adds up. It doesn't matter how little it is, damage adds up. So let's chuck you down. We can evolve it next turn. You've got enough energies on you. So let's start up with... Let's... Uh, I'm going to put a fairy energy onto you. Let's use Stomp. And that's going to KO that one. There we go. That's why it's good. Loudred is pretty, a pretty OP, you know, start. If you can get it snowballing. This is going to cause me issues. Mill tank. If it starts getting that hammering going. Which it will do next turn. If he's got any more energies. That's going to be a bit of a problem. See that damage is getting up. See that does 60. That will KO me. Next turn. Unless I. Hold on. Energy patch. I'm going to put that onto you. Because you are going to probably die next turn. Um, let me chuck that. Hold on. Should that you you so you can evolve? Destructive Flame. That might be a better idea, actually. Let's chuck that onto you. I'm going to keep hold of you for the time being because I might use you for an Ultra Ball in a moment. Let's go with this Stomp. Let's, I was really, really hoping for the double there. I was really hoping for the double. But never mind. Hopefully it doesn't have an energy card, which it does. So this is probably this is going to KO me. And he's going to waste his Poké Center Lady. That's the, something to keep in mind. Because that heals stats conditions as well. So there we go. we got all our energy cards back. Probably going to put Braxton onto the field. I could probably Ultra Ball. Right, we've got so many cards in our hand. Let's chuck you on the bench. Let's Ultra Ball. Let's get rid of two energies. Um, please tell me there is... Del Fox. There we go. That's the one I wanted. So I can put him out next turn. Let's chuck another fire energy onto you. That's based on the number of energies in play. Hold on. What does your first one do? Oh, it puts him to sleep. I'll do that instead. Uh, let's use Flicker and Flame. That'll put it to sleep. And now we'll have to play with Flicking the Coin. That was, that was lucky. I didn't think that far ahead. But keep bearing in mind he doesn't have his Poke Center later active. Um, he's probably going to start building up that other one. The other uh, mill tank that's got on the back. It's probably what he's going to do. But we'll see. He's going to shuffle. He must not have got anything with his Evo Soda. Yeah, he must not have got anything. So he is going to wake up. But he has to wait till this turn. Um, I'm going to put this one, that one can just go on to you, and I can side storm. Side storm is pretty OP, but you can get it set up and have loads and loads of energy on the bench. You just can just one shot everything. So it's going to have to whittle me down somehow. He is going to have to whittle me down. So he's got a Ralts now on the bench. This mill tank is going to die anyway. Powerful Friends does 10, a whopping 10 damage. Uh, let's chuck this onto Kanga, just in case anything goes downhill. That's going to knock out the next mill tank. He's not really got anything at this point that can do mass damage. Oh, okay, we got the Moltres. The Moltres is pretty decent as well to have, but he does do recoil damage with his flying flare. He does indeed. He's conceded the batch, then that is going to be the first one. Lovely. And what we're getting here, we're going to get one. There we go. Not even bad. And that's going to give us some points. It's pretty cool. I think you can play all the way up to. Thanks. Some more monies. I think it's Victini, like it showed. Oh, yeah. The Victini's in there. What's the master prize? Another Victini. Some Steam Siege. Oh. Oh, hello there. It looks like it's an Iris Full Art. That's pretty cool. Um, let's go with that again. 
Let's go with the Sky Guardian set again. Maybe we'll get a bit lucky, maybe we won't. I don't know. Okay. So he's going to call the flip. He's going to get heads or tails. Tails never fails. Go with tails. I lost the coin flip. And I am going to be going first, probably. Or does he want to go first? He's going to go first. Okay. That works for me. Sadly, I'm only... Uh, I don't really want to... Mm, this is going to be fun. This hand's not the greatest start. I put Kanga on the bench. Professor's Lottery will allow me to get some more energies if I need, but I've already got three in my hand. I'd prefer a couple more um, monster cards. That's what I would have preferred. To see. Uh, let's put ours down. That's sadly all we've got. Okay, so he's got the... Perfect! Perfect! And my phone's going off at the side of me. Shush. So he's starting off with the Farfetch. He's got electric energies in this deck. So what's he going to be going for? He can't attack on turn one. So that's good at least. Um, sadly, his does 30 damage, which is a little bit unfortunate. I'd rather it not. I'm going to just Willow Wisp to get some chip damage going. Um. Okay. He's got the fresh water. It's gonna he he's gonna heal it completely. Okay. Firstly, I would have waited, but he's gonna kill me in two here. So that's gonna be a bit unfortunate. So I'm probably just gonna give up on that, and I'm gonna go straight for this Kanga over here. Get the Kanga. The Kanga should be able to take him out then. If only I had the Wisma turn one, I'd have used the Wisma strategy again. So he's got the elect. Oh, he's got the Manetric. Is he running the Manetric deck? It's an easy first KO for him. That's a good basic to start with. He got really lucky with that one. So let's put Kanga up. Kanga can do 40 a hit. So, oh, we've got another one. Let's put another one of them on you. We've got Professor's Letter waiting, but here we go. Tiny Punch. Next turn it will, obviously, will KO. Unless it's got something that can heal. Which I've got a feeling it probably does. But that's only going to drop him to 30, which is not going to save him. There is the Manetric. I hope he's not got the Mega Manetric deck. Because if he does, that's going to be a issue. What's he doing here? Yeah. He knows. So he's going to do what I did last turn. He's going to set up this Manetric. If I had a Lysander or something here, I could have got him to switch and then attack that. Get the upper hand on him. But I don't have any Lysanders. So, fortunately, we're not doing that strategy. Got the Roller Boots. Get a Tails, please. Gosh dang it. He's getting all the luck. He's got a Great Ball. Okay. So he's going to Great Ball for something in his deck. And the, well, the first seven cards. What's he going to pull out? He didn't pull anything. Okay. He's got another great ball. He's going to try and do the same thing again. But what's he going to get? What's he going for? Drudigan. Okay, that's a little bit of a problem too. Would not want to face that personally. It's a pretty decent deck he's got here actually. Um, let's get with the Braxton, get him up. Um, let's put that on you. And we'll Professor's Letter this turn. Let's get two Fire Energies. Let's get them set up on Braxton. And let's go with the Tiny Punch again. This should... That is going to KO, but he's going to bring out this Manetric. So, it's going to be a bit of an issue. We've got another Fire Energy. He has to put something on his bench, though. Because if I KO this thing, switch to one of your bench, he can't. Is that what he's trying to do? Because he's not going to be able to lightning turn and switch with one of his benches. But if I... He, has, he can't. He has to... I was going to say, he has to bench something. Is he going to try and use the rough skin? I think he's going to use the rough skin ability. He's going to try and use that rough skin ability to his advantage. Okay. 
he is. But and maybe that is enough to kill. He calculated it. He's gonna put another energy on it and he's gonna electric shock. I should have put that. I should have put my energy pouch on. Yep, yeah, he's gonna do it. I knew that was coming. I should have energy pouch because I've just lost a lot of energy cards there. I've lost a lot. Now he knows he's safe. I have got destructive flame though. So if he decides to, you know, start adding energy cards to this up the wazoo then. You know. But I'm just going to chip away at it now. doesn't have any energy cards anyway. But that would have discarded one of his energies if he did have them. So this deck does depend on energy cards a lot. Okay, he's going to throw a lot away, but he's obviously going to get them back some way. I'm trying to think of the cards which can bring back energy cards from the... Well, I want to say graveyard, but it's next to discard pile. Okay, so we've got the Lugi in here as well. Let's put another one of them onto you. Let's see if I can... Do you want to get... Let's get lucky. I have to play with luck here. Lady Luck is on my side today. Can we turn this around? He's got nothing on his bench. Nothing. Has he not got anything in his hand which is a basic? I've got a feeling that could be a possibility. The lightning switch won't... I don't know if he can lightning switch if there's nothing on his bench. So that... I don't know. I don't know if he can or whether it just does the attack. Let's have a see. What's he going to go with? I do want a crackling ribbon. Just so I can get it to... That'll take it to 70, won't it? I can pretty much two shot him from there. Um, let's get this Lugia set up. Um, let's go with the Destructive Flame again. Do we get a heads? Is Lady Luck with us again? She's not. Damn. So I could have got that extra 10 damage off and KO'd it next turn. I knew I was playing with Lady Luck too much. Don't take that out of our contest. Ah, I see. He has got a Pokey Center Lady. And he was holding out to use it. So he is going to be able to lightning turn this turn, I believe. That does 7... Oh, wow, he's just KO'd me. He's going to KO me. Um, I am going to... Ener I think I might energy pouch you. Yeah. I'm going to energy pouch you. Uh, this is going to be... play. Uh, let's try and get rid of another energy. Please? I knew it wasn't going to do it. I knew it. I just knew... And now he's just going to be able to use the electric shock. He's going to discard all his energies. And we're back to square one. But he does lose his energy cards. So we're neck and neck at this point. Oh no, now we're not. Let's get Lugia onto the field. Let's stick another energy onto you. He's lucky because I can't do anything this turn. I have got... Yeah, I can't do anything this turn, so I'm just going to end my turn, and then next turn, hopefully, he doesn't get anything to set up. I only have to take this out, though. Oh, uh, now I don't, because he's just put... Is that an Electables? He's got an Electables on the bench, just in case I do knock this thing out. Oh, this is where he's going to set up his bench now. I see how it is. I see how it's going to go. But can we make it to... Oh, I'm not sure whether we're going to be able to. But I'll give it a go. I'm going to throw everything I know at him. Oh, no. No, no, no. Please. He's going to bring... What's, he's going to bring back Dredagon. I don't need Dredagon. Please, not this in my life. Because it does give me... I deal 20 to myself with Dredagon. Looks like he's going to set up this Dredagon over here. He knows this thing's pretty useless at this point. Because that does 60... And I don't know. He would have lived another turn. He's going to get some more energies. What's this? Uh, Defendi Pokemon can't retreat if he uses Clutch. Okay. But that rough skin is going to be a problem. But this deck is it, this deck I'm playing against is a pretty decent deck. It is pretty decent. He's just building up his bench now. But this intensifier burn, it's not going to do it unless I get the increased 20. Oh, 
I was hoping I was going to get the one that increases by 20. We're going to use this. And we're going to intensify burn. Sadly, he's only got... I needed the other item, which gives me 20 additional damage. That's what I was hoping I was going to pull there. But sadly, I didn't get it. Lady Luck, she plays with your heartstrings. He's getting that thing set up. Muscle Band, that's the one I wanted. He's getting it set up. To KO me. So that's going to do 80 to me. So that thing can two-shot me. I don't have anything that removes energies. Um, shift your deck and draw five. Do I want to do that? I need energies though. Maybe next turn. Give me some of those. Let's put this energy on to you. Um, I do want to do that, but I'm risking not having an energy next turn. I'll do it next turn if I need. Let's go with the Intensify Burn. He's going to clutch. And he's going to send out that uh, Drodagon. Which is going to have two shot me. Fan Club. I wish it was something a bit more than Fan Club, but hey. So the Drodagon is going to come out. What does my pressure do? Um, it's reduced. Okay, so it attacks are reduced by 20. So that buff is just going to do 60. So it can two shot me still. Unless I get something... That can remove the band. Oh, I can. Let me do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to bench them both. Let's set, um, set you up with an energy. I can't heal this. Oh, no. See, the problem is now I can't heal. I forgot about that. It's a supporter card, isn't it? You can only support a once. Okay. I'm going to have to take the, the hit here. So this turn I die. And then I'll send out... I need to do mass damage. With one blow. What can he do? He does six... Oh, he's going to you know, he's gonna do eight, two, isn't he? Hmm. I'm not pulling any of the cards I need this game. Let's go into you. Um, I'm going to use my Tierno. That did nothing for me. I'm going to energy you up. You're going to one that's going to finish this game for us. That's what I'm playing on. Um, I'm going to leave that spot open just in case. Let's go with a kick. But I'm going to deal 20 to myself. It's not really worth, but... He's going to 60 to me. No, he's going to 80. He's going to KO. I knew that was coming. We definitely lost this one, boys and girls. I think I am tempted to concede... Because there's not much I can do at this point. I'm just not dealing the damage. Let's use our supporter. Yes. Let's draw. Come on, give us some energies. There are the energies I needed. Or just any energies I do. The only problem is I don't have my heal card anymore. Which is a little bit annoying. So if I deal... He's going to deal 80, which is a little tempted to 100... And then next turn I should be able to KO. But it'll kill me by killing him. I'm just going to have to risk it. I'll have to risk it. I will have to risk it. I didn't have to attack in there. And I'd have been 20 down, which would have dropped me to 80. And then I could have KO'd him next turn. I think that's what I should have done. Because I'd have been 20 health down. Let's go with this. This is going to absolutely... Blow us both away. It, I don't think it matters at this point. Because the 20 is going to KO me. And that's going to concede the win. So that is it. We won for what? I don't think picking a card matters. So I've already lost. Yeah, I was going to say, I've already lost. So, 
One for one. We didn't do too bad. Let's open some packs anyway. Um, I always forget how to actually do this. And I always forget how I do this bit. Collection. I think it's under this. I think it's under this. Um, packs. Here we go. So we've got some generations. I think we'll do a generations pack. Let's do one generations. We'll do three packs. So let's do a generations. Let's do a generations pack. And we're going to get a... Some cool cards. Not bad, not bad. And our rare is the Hollow Macham. That looks like a reverse holo, if I'm completely honest. That's cool. Uh, let's do one more. We'll do two of these, and then we'll do a... Maybe a breakthrough? Okay, and... Hey, we got the Pikachu Full Art. That's cool. I love that Pikachu Full Art. I've got two of those in uh, IRL. Uh, we've got one Ancient Origins. Let's do an Ancient Origins. Why not? Let's do the Ancient Origins. Come on. Show us the good stuff. Show us the good stuff. What are we going to get? I've never opened Ancient Origins on here, actually, so that's pretty cool. Ooh, that's a nice reverse. Damn, we got the Mega Tita EX. That's pretty dope. But that is going to be it for today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure that like button down below. If you do want to see more of these on the channel here and there, let me know and I can do this for you a little bit more often. Uh, but for now, have a safe day and I'll catch you guys all in my next video. See you guys all then.